not too long ago, Plug and Boutique announced Scalar EQ, and I was very curious about that. I didn't know anything about this ahead of time or anything like that. It shocked me too, goddammit. I'm just as shocked as you guys. And what it is is a scalable, a uh, what is it, a uh, quantizing? What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck it is, but we'll find out. So what it basically is is a parametric EQ that quantizes through scale. So basically it's a scale driven EQ. I know that sounds crazy. However, that's what it does. In a nutshell, you're supposed to be able to EQ by the scale of the song. So one of the main things that it could do is detect the key of the scale. So it has that feature. It detected it as a C sharp major, as A sharp minor. And I don't know. Let's detect it again. There we go. So one thing I have noticed is that you might want to check it twice. You want to check your scale twice because sometimes it's off. The sample that I'm using is an F sharp minor in Serato Sample 2.0. The other thing that you could do is mess with the different bandwidths. And what you could do is mix with the harmonics. So let's go ahead and do the example. And as you can see, if you look at the piano, you see that it is mixing towards that. So if I wanted to boost the highs, you can boost highs, lows. You can mess with shelves. You can change the shelves. These are all things that you could do on here. You got different low cut, high cut, low shelf, magic low shelf, high shelf, peak, harmonic peak, and so forth. Uh, so essentially what you're hearing is that the lower frequencies, the mid frequencies, all of that is being quantized to the scale of F sharp minor. And what it does essentially is accentuate those particular harmonics, which help with you hearing certain aspects and even if you wanted to work with certain aspects of the parametric EQ, then that allows you to change things in sound design in other ways that you could not using a, a normal parametric EQ. Oh, that's cool. So basically it's giving you the keys of that scale and then, oh, fucking mind blown. You can also select which band that you wanna mess with. And I don't know necessarily, oh, in scale. That's cool, so you can actually lock it in the scale. So I don't have it locked in the scale, so that's one of the things I did not notice. Uh, you have to go to the note itself and then you lock it in the scale, you can flip the harmonics. So on this particular sound, we have enough harmonics to hear shit. And now you can hear kind of the results of it. I'm gonna do it in scale. Let's do it in scale. We have right here then I'm gonna do second band and well on the second band I'm gonna do mid or side y'all should be able to hear that and now I'm gonna change the dynamics let's go ahead and compress it And uh, I'll change the ratio. I even make it slower in the attack. And then I'm gonna make it uh, fast in the release. Now you should hear it only in the side. Yeah, I can really hear, hear it. I'll take this frequency. We'll kill that and I'll take it out of scale. I will also do a threshold change in dynamics. And I will put it in mid. So it'd be prominent if you listen to it in mono, you'll hear it waver a little bit more on the side. So if you have it in mono, so if your audio interface can go to mono, you can hear it change. And if it's you know, if you don't have the mono button on your audio interface, you can still hear it. And I've successfully killed that frequency. Now I put it inside stereo. So you can hear the what it can do sound design wise. Let's go up mess with the fifth band. It's not much in that higher frequency. You can see it represented in the back. I can show you right here. Even if you raise it, it won't be much, but I can kill it with uh, band number six. 
and I can put it in the mid. Compress it. So this is with Scalar EQ on. And this is with it off. This is with it bypassed. Now, to be honest, this is a dynamic EQ. And one of the things I will point out is it's nothing different than a lot of dynamic EQs on the market outside of the scale locking. Now, the scale locking allows you to focus on the exact harmonic in itself in its frequency, which clearly makes a difference. The UI is scalable, it's vectoral, so that's one thing I can say that uh, Plugin Boutique has improved on, because I remember when their UIs used to be raggedy as fuck, so you can change stuff with the cogwheel, you can change sharps to flats, flats to sharps, so forth, if that's your thing. Uh, the spectrum analysis, you can do pre, post, off, pre and post. You can have smart mode on, off, so I don't know what smart mode means, nor did I care right now. You can change the set as default uh, UI size. You can keep current scale. You can turn it on and off. And then if you want to get freaky, click on that about button. They got some freaky shit on their website. That kind of freaky. Anyways, they do have presets too. I'm going to try out some of the mastering presets in here. Whoa. So adding a little excitement on the master, I'm a little, I ain't gonna hold you. Like when I put stuff on the master, I, I kind of like my mixes to be flat. I don't like to do anything that could be detrimental to the mastering process, but if you want to use it for mastering or whatnot, totally cool because it does have all the things that you would need for a mastering plugin. I mean, EQ, compressor, different bands, so forth. All right, so we're gonna try this out on the 808 real quick, uh, sharp minor. So as far as the 808s go, it definitely looked like it passed the test. Hey, I ain't gonna even hold you. Like, I would put it on 808s. I'm not gonna try it out on other drums, but hey, I recommend that you try it out on other drums. So my overall thoughts on this, I just bought this not too long ago. I just felt like buying it. I didn't wanna go through Plugin Boutique and say, hey, can I try it out for free? Can I get it in a fire? If I had 50 bucks, I would say like, ah, I'm just gonna spend it because I like Scalar too like that. And when I originally bought Scalar, Back in the day, I spent money on it and Scalar too, so why not spend money on Scalar EQ? So it's not always about getting the free shit. Some of the aspects of it I enjoy a lot, and the other aspects I don't enjoy is definitely the CPU usage. However, my situation is kind of unique where my laptop is not in the best of shape right now. <laughs> it's on Struggleville right now. So it could be varied, and then not to mention I am streaming or I'm screen recording, which does a whole bunch to your CPU. Uh, you know, I'm using one laptop to do this, and this laptop has a whole bunch of devices attached to it, but the usefulness is still there. Uh, I like what it does as far as sound design. I can definitely uh, get with this fact that it's a mid to side EQ too, and then it's not counterintuitive, easy to understand. It took me a few minutes to get warmed up to how it EQ because my dumb ass wasn't looking at the spectral the spectral analysis. I wasn't looking at the spectrum. So when, when you're not looking at the spectrum and you're trying to add EQ to something that doesn't exist, you're like a complete and utter idiot like me. Uh, do I recommend it? Mm, I don't know. It just depends on you. So uh, the biggest appeal of it definitely has to be the price point at 50 bucks because it's not like it's the first dynamic EQ to exist out there. However, I will say it is the first one that locks in the scale, just like how Scalar 2 helps lock you in the scale and gives you different aspects of scale locking. It's scale locking frequencies so that you are focused on the frequency that matters the most in the mix of your track. Definitely dope, uh, but dynamic EQs have been around for quite a while. They just cost a lot of money. 
and rightfully so. So Plug and Boutique's kind of cutting people off, cutting off the middleman, I guess. Is that the right saying? Mm. I don't know, tell me how y'all feel about this. I, I feel pretty strong about it. I'm not mad about my purchase. Will it get use? Yeah, as long as I'm making something in here, yes. Inside of a DAW, yes, it'll get a lot of use.